G'day guys, welcome back to Peep Zone. Today I'm doing another reaction video to someone that I've never ever listened to in full before. And the only reason I'm doing this one is because during chatting to a mate of mine, he mentioned the name of the artist that I'm actually reacting to today and asked me if I've ever listened to any of his songs. Now, I might have, I might have, but the, the name doesn't ring a bell. But he wanted me to go in and listen and view or react to a artist, a blues artist, called Christone Kingfish Ingram. He's an American blues artist who has only been around for six or seven years, but he came to fruition when he's in his teens and um, everyone was just speaking highly of him. And I, to tell the truth, I don't know where I've been. Most of the time I'm listening to the great uh, blues guitarists that I've been listening to for the past 30 years. And that is wrong because I miss out on so many young up and coming blues guitarists guitarist in general so I'm gonna to have to start crawling out of that rock and just listen to new music so he goes Chris Stone Kingfish Ingram he's jamming in the van which is the van that goes around travels around and all these artists whether it be blues artists whatever they jam in that van and it's just a live jam with the band jam with the band and this time Chris Dane Kingfisher Ingram is doing a song called Fresh Out and I'm looking forward to it but just before we get started if you could please please click on to thumbs up subscribe notification bell so I can continue doing these videos it'd be much appreciated Chris Stone Kingfish Ingham Fresh Out <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle Wax, sponsored by Turtle Wax. Now I don't know who was the driver. Oh, that's all Rick right there. Oh. All right, this is Chris Stone, Kingfish Ingram. We're here jamming in the van, and this is Fresh Free Out. Free piece. Free piece. No coffee for my breakfast. No butter on my roll. I ain't got a drop of milk. Uh, for the cornflakes in my bowl Well, I'm all fresh out Said I'm all, I'm all fresh out I had no loving since the day Since the day you went away Said I'm all fresh out I need to give my reaction because it the first as I said I've said before first minute of me viewing a new artist I know straight away whether they're going to be gobsmacking good or they're just a flash in the pan straight away he's vocals he's guitaring nice fresh crisp guitaring three piece band Wow, bass, guitarist, drums, and Kingfish on guitar, and that's all you need. Raw talent, musicians. So far, so good. Here we go. No flower in the sack. Oh, boys, I ain't got nothing cooking, babe. Please, won't you come back for my old fresh out? Said I'm all, said I'm all fresh out. I had no loving since the day, since the day you went away. Said I'm
and I'm all fresh out. Where has this guy come from? Again, another blues artist who's had every single influence just inside of him and he's just plucking every single blues guitarist that has been. He's got a hint of BB, he's got a hip of hint of Robert Cray, um, the guitar playing is so raw, and oh man, he attacks those strings aggressively, and gets everything out of it, it's just like he's squeezing that fretboard, getting every single note out of it, this guy's amazing, amazing, and he's only young, I think he's only 2021. 20, please, if can someone comment, let me know how old this guy is. Please comment. Because, again, he's one of the young guys that plays like he's been playing for 50 years. And that voice, that voice, that typical blues voice, it's just amazing. He's, like I said, the likes of him and Marcus King are not reviving but they're keeping the blues going it they're keeping it alive okay here we go let's have a look i drank up my last bottle of a johnny walker bar, red right? nobody in this house but me and our empty bed well i'm all oh, fresh oh. out Said I'm on, said I'm all fresh out. Woo. I had no loving since the day, uh, since the day you went away. Said I'm all fresh out. Hold on, I have to stop it then. That little thing that he just sang now reminds me so much of Robert Cray there. The likes of Robert Cray that blues voice when he actually sings it, he actually feels it. Wow.
to, and I will too, I'm going to listen to more of this stuff because, as I said before, these guys that go along and play blues, but they don't even just play the blues, they feel the blues, they are typical blues artists who just bring all the emotion with them. And like I said, it's a three-piece band, bass, guitar, and and and, and drums. That's 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 all there is. But they can generate so much feeling. That voice, you could swear, has been around for a long time. And he guitar playing. He's only young. I think that the from what I read, he was only like 22 years old. And, and this was actually done in 2019, jamming in the band in Los Angeles. So he was younger, I think he was only, he would have been about 18, 19, I think. 19, he would have been 19. And at 19, he can actually generate so much feeling for a performance, a simple performance in the back of a van with the two other guys. It is amazing, amazing. And thank God that I love the blues because people like Chris Stone, Chris Stone and Marcus King and even young Tash Farrant as, as bringing back the love of blues and guitar music so guys look, it's been really great doing this reaction video and I hope you enjoyed it and please please click subscribe thumbs up, notification bell, and any comments that you might have on this reaction video, please, I'd love to hear it, I'd love your comments, and anything that you want me to react to, any other music, blues, whether it be blues, rock, whatever, I'd love to react to it, so just type it in there and I'll, I'll, be, I'll get to it as soon as possible, but in the meantime, you've been watching Pete Zone. Take care, stay safe, and until next reaction video, love your music, guys. Love your music.